encourage the students' driving creativity and artistry. Besides, the plus sign looks like the Chinese character Tan implies the school 10th anniversary. Thank you very much. So uh, this is my FYP, I uh, did it with Christiane and we've decided to make a sort of touch surface on the cheap. So we're using infrared pens and a very cheap webcam and some free software that we have developed ourselves. Basically we have those infrared pens, uh, homemade, and we can just use them to track around the surface. So yeah, we just use it to browse around and we can watch pictures. Uh, do the usual zoom in, zoom out. But it has one extra feature, which is the QR code reading. We have, uh, for this exhibition, we have some postcards that have a QR code on the back. And those will actually be a hot link to the works that are related to that. We have a client application that can be just put on the web and the artists can send all the video files and picture files from their convenience at home and it will just be sent to the server, converted on the server and automatically uploaded on the touch table. Because I always enjoy drawing since I was a little girl. So all the things I'm doing for instance is based on drawing like this one. I'm using the, the most traditional way is to say I'm drawing frame by frame and create the illusion of movement and see. And I think the outcome is attractive. It's a individual story about the sound box and the process is quite painful because it takes a lot of time but when I see the outcome I think everything's worth it. Scream is uh, the combination of mirror and the scream. The scream it, uh, means uh, the famous uh, Western artwork, the painting, the scream. And we uh, transform uh, this 2D painting to a 3D installation art. You can see uh, inside the mirror the scenes uh, in the painting being reconstructed to an installation art. We have made this installation according to this like a bit map. These bitmaps, like we actually um, estimate the depth of, of each layers, and then the brighter one is the, like the longest one, longest one here, and then the darkest one will be the shortest, will be represent the sky, and then we use the calculation here, and then each of the values represent a um, number of so like beans, the depth, and the size, and then actually we have like we rendered a preview to show like the work how it's gonna be made. The work is interesting because when the trains move, you can see, uh, you can feel the uh, painter's feeling, the unstableness. And this is my work, and it is a uh, used uh, technique which is called the camera obscura to make an artistic artwork about um, a table which is about a couple who uh, talk and telling about something their private story. Take Bingay 
，有黃家衞春光乍泄啊，有盈盈一太空漫遊啊。咁你揀咗之後咧，佢就會 random 咁樣揀一粒 pixel 出嚟啦。咁而呢一 pixel 咧就會編咗喺一張紙度。咁而一張紙咧就會編組咗咧，你就可以拎住張紙，就可以將佢變成一個 pixel 嘅 cube 啦。除此之外咧，你仲可以誒，佢、呃、會上高有個 website， 你可以再攞翻你買咗嘅嗰條 pixel sequence 咁咯。其實我我我係想做一個誒、呃、一個新嘅感覺，你對呢個電影嘅單位咯。咁人哋通常係一個一個 frame 一個 frame， 或者係一條條片咁樣播噶嘛。但係我會係一個一個最最 down to the earth 嘅單位，就係、是、一個 pixel。Uh, are you trying to replace the string of the heart with、uh, the laser lines? For this, you, when you play with the heart, you can have a special uh, light effect beyond the music. So you can try it and see this. So that's the way I try to uh, make the old uh, element to embed in a uh, new